Welcome back everybody. Trail Tribe's back on the Green River. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful May weekend. Today's the day of the Kentucky Derby, May 4th, and tonight we might have some Cinco de Mayo festivities. <laughs> oh boy, so good to be back on the river. We'll see you down the river. Loving that river life. Check this out, folks. I think we're at 300 springs. It's pretty wild. That is absolutely beautiful. a possibility of storms this weekend we might be heading towards one or it might be heading right past us that's okay we're having a wonderful time Stop for a break. Of course, perfect for the river. Peach L8. Alright. There we go. Breeze fish, nice. That's the guy. Uh, that's good. It's currently drizzling on us. Not too bad. Under this nice shade tree here. Chilling out, enjoying a wonderful lunch. Yeah, we can't hide under the bridge. I guess we could. Kind of. It's up there. Yeah. All right. The wind's picking up. Well, you're hearing thunder again, so we decided to get off the river. We're just along the banks under some trees. We checked the weather radar and uh, <laughs> I think we're getting ready to get pounded. 
Anyway, we got a tarp that we think we can set up to keep this somewhat dry. But having a good old time. Just trying to keep from getting hit by lightning. <laughs> giving us gold I think is what you meant by that we're already getting water up here we're getting awfully cozy we're getting a lot of splash down <laughs> yeah me too All right, we made it to camp. Oh, what a wonderful day. We did 14 miles on the river. Went through two storms. One, oh my, <laughs> we almost wound up being drowned rats. Oh boy, well, we got all our tents set up, ready to relax. We got uh, a nice campfire, steak, potato, and corn. Oh. Can't wait. <laughs> Check out that fella. What's up, Baba? Yep. Watch it, watch it. <laughs> That's cool. How what would you say that is? Dinner is served. Yummy. One of my favorite video clips I've reviewed is the burnt corn. <laughs> liquid mm. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Mmm. And what a night. The river's really high. All those bushes right down there are where our tents were originally set up. And way down there is where we had our campfire last night. God. Man, that's scary. Goodness. Well, it's a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is a pretty day. All right, good morning. Oh boy. <laughs> we have a story for y'all. So last night, we started laying down around. 9, 9.30. And we kept watching the weather. The weather was going cloudy to nothing. The clear skies. So we decided that 
we didn't have rain to worry about last night. But <laughs> that was the least of our worries. Uh, we're not sure if the Green River Dam let out some water or if yesterday's thunderstorms from around the state caused the river to rise. I'm going to say 10 to 15 feet. So, <laughs> oh goodness, around 11.30 last night we all realized that our tents were floating in about 3 inches of water. So we spent the next hour getting all of our stuff together as much as we could and finding higher ground. <laughs> oh boy. It was well overgrown up there, but Lord, it kept us safe because if we didn't act when we did, we'd have a, be a different story to tell, I guess, and we wouldn't be the ones telling it. So, anyway, it's a beautiful morning. We got five or six more miles, I believe, left on this section. So hopefully we can knock this out with this uh, high flowing water. <laughs> As we're floating along, enjoying this beautiful day, we couldn't help but uh, recall certain omens yesterday that could have probably gave us a good clue as to what was going to happen last night. Uh, we were hunkered underneath the tarp just after lunch, watching the water get high there, and we had to bail out just as the rain stopped. And... Uh, run to the kayaks before we couldn't get away from that shelter area <clears throat> and then just the little things like when we were at camp while we were cooking our steaks we realized that our canoe started to float away and nothing was really drying out last night found a really cool skink salamander whatever they are in the canoe but just the little things that made you, once you think back, that uh, if you would have paid attention to them, maybe you'd realize that where we were wasn't the safest location and that we probably should have seeked higher ground sooner. But, um, I guess I'm glad we had a plan when we first realized that the water might be getting high, but we really didn't think it was going to get 10 feet high let alone just a foot. Like, I thought that was it. Anywho, glad we're safe. The river's a little daunting. It's really wide and kind of fast. Looks like a big river of chocolate milk. <laughs> Yeah, we got it.